You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? Monica's being friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. I flipped to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. <laughs> Get out of my head, 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 before I show you how much I love you. Get out of my head before I finish writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Oh, what is this? Reading the poem, I can't pit my stomach. Joseph, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm gonna get Sayori, so, uh, well, all right. Try not to take too long, okay? What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. I reach Sayori's house and knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. <sighs> Fuck, my heart's dropping. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I'm actually, I'm legit on the verge of crying right now. <sighs> Fuck, I'm not prepared. I'm not prepared for this, man. I'm literally not prepared for this. There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? Can you stop? Stop extending it. Just get to it, please. But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. See ya. <sighs> Fuck. Oh my god. Oh. Fuck me. The only time I actually need to see people, like, I'm gonna play this game and then I see nobody for a good while now until the end of June. An exception has occurred. File game slash script ch5.rpy line 307. T trace back dot txt for details. Fuck, I'm sorry guys. I'm, I, I'm, li I'm shaking so much. I can't actually, I can't go around Steam properly. Like, I, I, I'm legit fucking shook to my core right now. So this is it. Made with Ren PY, there's a little devil inside of us all. Beneath their manufactured prescription or perception, their artificial reality is a wreathing, twisted mess of dread, loathing, judgment, elitism, self-doubt, all trashing to escape the feeble hold of their host, seeping through every little crevice they can find. Into their willpower, starving them of all motivation and desire, into their stomach, forcing them to down, drown their guilt in comfort food, or into a newly opened gash on their skin. In, hidden only by the sleeves of a cute new shirt. Such a deplorable tangled mess is already present in every single one of them. That's why I chose not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knot. Fuck me, man. I don't know if we're gonna find anything else in this. I, I'm just... Oh, wait. Sayori's winning words. Happiness, sadness, death, tragedy, alone, love, adventure, sweet, excitement, fireworks, romance, tears, depression, heart, marriage, passion, childhood, fun, color, hope, friends, family, party, vacation, lazy, daydream, pain, holiday, bed, feather, shame, fear, warm, flower, comfort, dance, sing, cry, laugh, dark, sunny, Rain cloud, calm, silly, flying, wonderful, unrequited, rose, together, promise, charm, beauty, cheer, smile, broken, precious, prayer, clumsy, forgive, nature, ocean, dazzle, special, music, lucky, misfortune, loud, peaceful, joy, sunset, fireflies, rainbow, hurt, play, sparkle, scars, empty, amazing, grief, embrace, extraordinary, awesome, defeat, hopeless, mystery, treasure, bliss. Yes, I am reading all these until they run out. Oh, never mind. I I'll stop here. Bliss memories. Because they're Sayori's ones. What the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's just no way this could be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was up normal up to a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? 
I shouldn't have confessed to her. That's not what Siori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Then why did I confess to her and make her even feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school and remained her friends with her like it always has been, then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I could do to bring her back. This isn't a game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance and I wasn't careful enough. And I have to carry the guilt with me until I die. Out of curiosity. We're gonna save this here, right? We're gonna go back. Uh, which one? 57. I wanna see if it actually does it, so I might just... I'm a fucking idiot. Never mind, we'll go from here. Fuck! Oh no! <laughs> oh, I forgot about this entirely! Oh my god. The files cro- Wait, wait! Hey guys, welcome back to Doki Doki. Um, ignore the last two episodes, they never happened. I didn't mess up recording whatsoever. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot that's how you trigger it. I thought Monica was meant to appear on screen. Oh man. That's so weird. That is so weird. Okay, guys, give me two seconds. I need to get more water, man. <laughs> God, I can't do that. <laughs> I see an annoying girl run towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl <laughs> my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school... Okay, you know what? I'm just going to skip this until we get thing. However, I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalk and... <laughs> catch up to me. <laughs> Fuck. It's an already school... Mornings are usually the worst. Being surrounded by couples and friend groups who walk in together to school. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. Joseph? <sighs> Monica? Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, it has. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Did Monica say she? Hmm. And thus today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I'm back and I brought a guest with me. Stop doing that game, please. Ah! It's at the back! Ah! I forgot about that! I was waiting for the background to tilt, but I forgot they put photos like that in the back. Oh, please, Natsuki or someone come in. Uh, all words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute... Oh, no, I'm not saying the line again, actually. Don't say it out loud! Don't say it out loud! No. Is it poem time? It... It's not the kind of poem I- oh no. This, this is gonna be freaky, isn't it? Oh no. Things I like about Papa. I like when Papa comes home early. I like when Papa cooks me dinner. I like when Papa gives me allowance. I like when Papa spends time with me. I like when Papa asks me about my friends. I like when Papa asks me about anything. I like when Papa gives me lunch money. I like when Papa comes home before sundown. I like when Papa cooks. I like when Papa gives me privacy. I like when Papa doesn't tell me how to dress. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my friends. I like when Papa doesn't comment on my hobbies. I like when Papa comes home without waking me up. I like when Papa keeps food in the house. I like when Papa uses his inside voice. I like when Papa leaves my stuff alone. I like when Papa accidentally drops coins in the couch. I like when Papa is too tired to notice me. I like when Papa is too tired for anything. I like when Papa is too tired for anything.